I've had a lot of letdowns in my life, but the biggest letdown was when I finally got a real grenade launcher and I shot it and I found out that in real life, grenade launchers do not make the punk. They just sound like real guns. What's next? Do silencers not say pew? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. If you followed the vlog over at Off The Ranch, you probably have seen that we have a grenade launcher. This is a 37 millimeter launcher made by X Products. I'll put a link in the description below. And it's pretty awesome. Opens up just like that. And you slide a grenade in there, just like that. You close it up and you're ready to fire. So, I fired a couple on Off The Ranch just practicing and one of them worked pretty well, the other one did not work and it was because Roman and I were making those and I didn't really know what I was doing. So I've done some practicing, I think I got them to work today. These are not the same kind of grenades that you see in movies, they're not the same kind of grenades you see in video games. There are a lot of laws around grenade launchers and I'm going to give you the shortened version. But there are two types of grenade launchers, a destructive device and a signaling device. So a destructive device is one that fires explosives, it fires shrapnel, and all kinds of things that can hurt someone. A signaling device is what this is, and they fire smaller things that, like fireworks and things like that. This gun can be a destructive device if I had real grenades and shot them out of it, but that would be illegal if you didn't register it. So this is a real grenade launcher. We're just shooting not real grenades so that we don't get in trouble with the government. This round is just a little popper, so it has a charge that fires this cardboard container out way up in the air, and then it should pop again. And hopefully I can get it to pop before it hits the ground. Last time we were unsuccessful. It's ready to fire now. Whoa, it went so high. That one did not pop. I don't know why. I'm gonna try it again with the exact same type of round. Again, hopefully this will pop before it hits the ground. I noticed on that one that there was a puff of smoke up in the air. I don't know if the camera's caught it or not. So it did actually pop before it hit the ground. I just didn't hear it, so I didn't think it was popping. And that's the thing, these things are not super loud because we have to put a tiny little charge in there to make sure you don't overdo it and make something that could be lethal. So they are working. I have a couple more rounds, I'm gonna try them. They do the exact same thing. We take out the spent shell, put in the new one, close her up. A little tiny pop way over there. I think this thing looks awesome like this. But if you so choose, this thing will unscrew off of this, just like that. And this will attach to a quad rail on an AR. And it looks amazing. It doesn't get much more American than an AR with a grenade launcher on the bottom. Here's the scenario, guys. I'm running out here, look to my left, two bad guys with AK-47s pointed at me. Not a problem because they're hiding behind some really cheap wood. I know my three can get through that. Firing at them, take them both out. Look to my right, six dudes with AK-47s coming at me. They're all pointed at me. I don't have time to shoot them all, plus I'm nearly out of ammo in my 308. But I've got a grenade. Turn, fire a grenade. These cameras catch it all in slow motion. I walk away like a hero. Giddy up, partner. Here they come. Took out those bad guys without a problem, thanks to the grenade launcher. I wanna do a little educational piece for you guys so that you know what's legal and what's a felony. Because if you're interested in getting one of these, you need to know because it can be a fine line. So basically it comes down to, could this significantly hurt someone or is it kind of just for show, like fireworks or just for show? And 
that determines if it's a destructive device or a signaling device. So first off, you can't put things that are hard inside this. Like rocks, for instance. Rocks could definitely hurt someone if they were fired out of a gun. So they're definitely illegal. Another big thing is you have to measure the exact amount of powder you put in there. If you put in too much powder, yeah, that's a felony too. A lot of people wonder, can we put things like shrapnel in there? Nails? No, you can't put nails in there. That's so illegal. You definitely cannot load other ammunition into your grenade launcher. That is very illegal. Pretty much just anything that could hurt someone. If you put something sharp and pokey inside a grenade launcher, it's most likely illegal. That was not super impressive during the middle of the day when it was super bright outside. So we've warped about six hours and the sun just went down behind the horizon. And probably in another 30 minutes, maybe 60 minutes, it'll be perfect out here. It'll look really good. I'll fire a couple more in the air and uh, hopefully it'll look cooler than it did earlier. While we're waiting, go check out my Twitter. I'm giving away a set of Walker's electronic earmuffs and all you need to do is follow me on Twitter, which is at Demolition Ranch, and retweet that post. It's a picture of the earmuffs. And tonight at midnight, I'll cut it off, I'll pick someone at random, and I'll send you a message and send them to you. So go follow me, go retweet that, and I'll see you guys in like 30 minutes. We have an audience now. Everybody's in their PJs ready for bed, but first they wanna see the fireworks. So I'm gonna come over here. Everybody gonna close their ears, right? No. Okay, your funeral. We have an empty tube. Not anymore. Ready? I think that one exploded in the barrel a little bit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Loving my new grenade launcher. And we will see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> We're about to quad hop. Bobby! <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.